हेलो क्लास आई एम हैप्पी नारंग यूर सब्जेक्ट टीचर ऑफ फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ सोयल साइंस टूडेज टॉपिक इज सोयल फॉर्मिंग रॉक्स एंड मिनरल क्लासिफिकेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट रॉक्स आर द मटेरियल्स दैट फॉर्म द इसेंशियल पार्ट ऑफ द अर्थ सॉलिड क्रस्ट रॉक्स आर हार्ड मास ऑफ मिनरल मैटर कंप्राइजिंग वन और मोर रॉक फॉर्मिंग मिनरल्स रॉक्स आर फॉर्म फ्रॉम द मोल्टेन मटीरियल नोन एज मैगमा The study of rocks is called petrology. In Greek, petra means rock, logos means science. Petrology deals with the description of rocks. Petrogenesis is the study of the origin of rocks. Now, in this figure, we will we will be discussing about the process of formation of rocks. The magma, also called as lava, from the earth's crust erupts out. from the volcanic eruption forming the igneous rocks also called as granite igneous rocks are formed as the magma cools weathering erosion and deposition makes the igneous rocks converted to sediments on compression of the sediments sedimentary rocks are formed during the process of metamorphism metamorphic rocks are formed metamorphism takes place of very high heat and pressure hence we can conclude cooling and consolidation of molten magma within or the surface of the earth igneous or primary rock transportation and cementation of primary rocks we can say sedimentary or secondary rocks alteration of the existing primary and secondary rocks we can say metamorphic rocks now we will be discussing classification of rocks igneous sedimentary metamorphic and there is a sub classification in igneous intrusive extrusive in sedimentary clastic chemical and in metamorphic foliated and non foliated in intrusive gabbro and in extrusive basalt in clastic sandstone in chemical limestone foliated slate non foliated quartzite in gabbro granite basalt rhyolite in sandstone shell in slate cyst and in quartzite marble so first we will discuss about igneous rocks that is primary or massive rocks these are first formed in a earth crust due to the solidification of molten magma based on the mode of formation they are further classified as extrusive and intrusive rocks extrusive rocks or volcanic rocks are formed due to the consolidation of magma on the surface of the earth the magma when it flows on the earth surface is called lava for example basalt intrusive rocks or plutonic rocks these rocks are produced due to solidification of magma below the surface of the earth plutonic intrusive rocks solidifies at greater depth and hyperbasal rocks solidifies at shallow depth from the surface for an example granite sienite diorite gabbro etc rocks formed in vertical cracks are called dikes and in horizontal cracks are called silts vascular rocks molten magma cools on the surface steam of water in entrapped into rocks are forms vesicles now comes sedimentary rocks these rocks are formed from the consolidation of sediments accumulated through wind or water action at the surface of the earth many are deposited in layer or formed through chemical reaction as precipitates from aqueous solutions sediments may contain various sized particles cemented together by substances like silicate iron oxide or lime these rocks are called as clastic rocks based on the origin the sedimentary rocks are classified as residual laterite transported deposited as solids in suspension sandstone shell 
deposited by chemical precipitation limestone iron stone deposited through agency of organic matter peat phosphatic deposits based on the grain size sedimentary rocks are classified as rocks with boulder pebble sized minerals that is conglomerate and rocks with sand sized particles anenaceous that is sandstone rocks with silt sized particles silt rocks uh, that is silt stone rocks with clay sized particles agrilaceous that is shale now comes metamorphic rocks these are formed from igneous and sedimentary rocks under the influence of heat pressure chemically active liquids and gases change may occur in mineral composition or texture or both the changes due to water is called hydro metamorphosis and due to pressure is called dynamo metamorphosis sandstone that is quartzite shell that is slate mica schist limestone that is marble granite that is granite genesis dolerite that is a hornblende genesis classification of important minerals that you can see in the table there are the name of minerals and percentage distribution in the table ferromagnesium minerals pyrozins and amphiboles the pyrozins and amphiboles are two groups of ferromagnesium minerals that is heavy group the structure of which consists of long chains of link silica tetrahedral the pyrozins consist of single chain that is two oxygen shared in each tetrahedron whereas amphiboles consist of a double chains alternately two and three oxygen atoms shared successive tetrahedral these chain silicates are sometimes referred to inosilicates the pyrozin group of minerals comprised of different minerals namely insatite hydrocene dipside and agate of which agate is the most important mineral in soils and it is found in basic rocks the amphibole group of minerals are common in acidic rock and it can be represented by the isomorphous series between tremolite acetonolite olivine and hornblende hornblende weathers fairly rapidly olivine that is olive green minerals from an isomorphous series between forsterite and fluorite pyrozins are more basic in character and therefore it weathers more rapidly than amphiboles micas occur extensively in soils they are primarily originated from the parent rock from which the soil is derived generally soils are inherited from well ordered and imperfectly ordered micas well ordered micas are derived from sedimentary rocks the most common well ordered micas are muscovite peridotite biotite and phlogopite that is trioctahedral the imperfectly ordered micas contain less potassium and more water as compared to well ordered micas and this type of micas are most abundant in the clay fraction of soils among the order micas biotite weathers more rapidly than muscovite in perfectly ordered micas many of little type specimens as well as the disordered micas of soil exhibits some mixed layering with phases of vermiculite smithsonite group of minerals chlorite and integrates of several of these species now we will be discussing the known ferromagnesium minerals feldspheres are anhydrous aluminous silicates of k and n c a and occasionally of other large cations such as b a the feldsphere structure consists of tetrahedral which are attracted by sharing each oxygen atom between neighboring tetrahedron the tetrahedral contain mainly silicons with sufficient al substitution it belongs to the group of minerals that are light in weight there are group of feldspheres 
Its potassium feldspheres include orthoclase, microcline, adelaria, and cyanidine. Orthoclase and microline are more common in plutonic and metamorphic rocks. The potassium feldspheres occur commonly in the silts and sands of soils and also abundant in clay size. Regioclase feldspheres a series consisting of a solid solution of albite, albite high in sodium and anorthite high in calcium. Regioclase weathers more rapidly than orthoclase. Quartz, it is very densely packed and occurs in a high degree of purity. It is strongly resistant to weathering as the structure is densely packed electrically neutral and free from any substitutions. It is the most abundant mineral next to feldspheres. Ser serpentine, a hydrous magnesium silicate occurs more commonly as a secondary product. Garnets are characteristics of metamorphic rocks and are very hard and most resistant to weathering. Now come silicate minerals, ortho, neosilicates. The mineral in the group are composed of single tetrahedral linked together by magnesium or iron. To effect a breakdown, it is considered sufficient to severe the weaker MZO or FEO bonds. Known with standing the bond energy considerations, susceptibility of the minerals in this group to break down by weathering appears to vary considerably from one mineral to another. For an example, zircon makes the mineral comparatively hard. On the other hand, the looser packing of oxygen in olivine makes the mineral weather faster. Inosilicates group has in it, its structure single chain pyrosins and double chain amphi Bowls, silica tetrahedral linked together by calcium, magnesium, or iron because of the presence of many weak spots provided by the CEO, MGO, or FEO bonds. These minerals tend to weather rapidly. Phyllosilicates, linkages of silica tetrahedral and alumina octahedral sheets by mutually shared oxygen atoms from the basis for the structure of this group. Some of the minerals, for an example, biotite and muscoite, are relatively susceptible to weathering, whereas other like clay minerals are resistant weathering products, and further breakdown of clay is difficult. Tectosilicates, the minerals are considered solid solution minerals with a framework of silica tetrahedral in which the cavities are occupied by sodium calcium and so on the minerals in the group may also vary considerably in the resistance to weathering for an example leucite and like use clays versus potash fertilizers the relative degree of close packing of atoms in their structural framework may be the reason for such variability in weathering increased substitution of al and c si in tetrahedral or pregoclase mineral is also considered a factor that makes these minerals weaker than potash feldspar. Now comes non silicate minerals oxidase, hematite, limonite, geothite, gypsite. The red, yellow, or brown colors in soils are due to the presence of geothite and hematite, which occur as coatings on the surface of soil particles, carbonates, calcite, dolomite, sulfates, gypsum, phosphates, apatite, that is rock phosphate, primary source of phosphorus. Now we will discuss the physical properties of minerals. Color denotes the natural color of the mineral. Streck refers to the color of powder form of the mineral when an unknown mineral is rubbed against a piece of unglazed proclean strict plate it produces as a colored line hematite red magnetite black turk white fracture cleavage hardness this is how resistant a mineral is 
to being scratched we use the most scale to classify a given mineral's hardness talk 1 gypsum 2 calcite 3 fluorite 4 epitite 5 feldspar 6 quartz 7 topaz 8 corundum 9 diamond 10 luster the way a mineral reflects light crystal form crystal structure is the result of a regular grouping of atoms that are homogeneous a crystal is a polyhedral form which means it is a geometric solid it has a specific set of faces corners and edges which is consistent with the geometric packing of the atoms there are six basic crystal forms isometric tetragonal hexagonal orthorhombic monoclinic triclinic taste specific gravity relates to the minerals density if the mineral is heavy for its size then it has a high specific gravity magnetism effervescence when some minerals are exposed to acid they begin to fizz Birefringence. This is also known as double refraction. Birefringent minerals split light into two different rays, which gives the illusion of double vision in this island. Spark lights. Differences. Some minerals display the phenomenon of photoluminescence. Now comes clay minerals. Clay minerals in soils are formed from primary minerals due to weathering processes these clay minerals are of size less than 0.002 mm and are considered to be the most reactive part of soil important soil properties like nutrient and water holding capacity are controlled by clay minerals these minerals are layered silicate consisting of silica tetrahedron and aluminium octahedron one silicon tetrahedron plus one aluminium octahedron is equal to 1 ratio 1 clay minerals non expansionary clay minerals black mica biotite white mica muscovite weathered mica elite expanding clay mineral partially expanding vermiculite fully expanding monto morillonite clay mineral chlorite thank you stay home stay safe